What's up, Riverhawk fans, and welcome to this week's edition of the Riverhawk Report. Happy Halloween, and as always, my name is Ben Nod. Well, I don't have any tricks for you, but plenty of treats, as we've had an exciting past week and a week to look forward to as many of our fall sports are in postseason play. And if you can believe it, basketball season is right around the corner. Now let's get started with a spooky edition of No Nonsense. With the men's soccer team taking on Hartford this Wednesday, head coach Christian Figueroa's squad is primed for playoff positioning. After a thrilling 1-0 double overtime victory against New Hampshire on senior night, the Riverhawks have a chance to host a quarterfinal home match next weekend. At 8-6-1 and 4-2-0 and and oh in conference, the sky's the limit for this team. The field hockey team is set to host the America East Field Hockey Championships from Wicked Blue Field this Thursday through Sunday. Better yet, they will be playing in the tournament for the second straight season. On Sunday, senior Krista Dorn capped off a memorable senior day with a double overtime goal to push the Riverhawks past Vermont 4-3. They are set to take on Stanford for the second time this season in a rematch of last year's quarterfinal. Although the volleyball team showed plenty of fight in both their home matches this weekend, they fell short to both UAlbany and Binghamton on Friday and Saturday. Seniors Masha Yelsukova and Mallory McIver were honored before the game as the lone seniors, and the Riverhawks are still in search for their first conference win when they take on Stony Brook this Friday and then have their last non-conference match versus Iona. Both the men's and women's cross-country teams competed at the Americas Championships hosted by Vermont this past weekend. And for the men, Paul Hogan took home some hardware when he placed first and was the first Riverhawk to win an America East cross-country individual title. His stellar performance helped push the team to a second place finish. For the women, they are also tabbed a second place finish with sixth place in the top 19. This was the best finish since the Riverhawks joined the America East Conference. With the transition to Division I complete, the conference meet does not bring the season to a close. The next step will be the NCAA Northeast Regional in Buffalo, New York. That's scheduled for November 10th. Turning to the ice now, the men's hockey team fell to Northeastern on Friday and Saturday night. First at home, they fell 3-1, and on Saturday from Matthews Arena, couldn't pull away with a victory, losing 5-4. At 3-5, they look to bounce back as they welcome the main Black Bears to the Songus Center this weekend. And just a reminder, everyone, Saturday's game will begin at 4 p.m. Log on to GoRiverHawks.com for more information. Let's now take some time for your Circle Health Plays of the Week. Start with number three on Wicked Blue Field. Riverhawks and the Catamounts going at it. Krista Dorn off the juicy rebound finds an open spot for the game winner to propel the Riverhawks to a 4-3 victory. And you take a look at the Selly there. A big win for the Riverhawks. Number two, we go to Cushing Field. The Riverhawks and the Wildcats in a match that went back and forth. Double overtime here. The ball just would not find the back of the net until Yvonne Boskic. On his back doing cartwheels or something, got a toe on the ball and found the twine. Take a look at this in slow-mo. What a beaut. The Selly might be even better and a one nothing victory for the Riverhawks. And our number one play of the week. We turn to the course in Vermont and Paul Hogan literally running away with it, leading the pack, finishing the race under just 24 minutes and 10 seconds as you see him go there. And the Riverhawks' first individual winner in the Americas Conference, leading the team to a second place nod. Those are your Circle Health Plays of the Week. What a week it was to close out the month of October. Just a friendly reminder to come support your field hockey team at Wicked Blue Field this Thursday. On behalf of the Riverhawk Network, I'm Ben Nod. Now take some candy.